hello friends welcome back to our channel so in today's session we'll see a one more uh, concept in disk scheduling algorithm that is a c scan algorithm so in our previous session we have seen uh, three scheduling algorithms uh, one is a fcfs another one is a sttf and a scan algorithm right so in today's session we'll see a one more algorithm that is a c scan so the working of c scan is similar to the scan with a little bit different so here the first one and the first point is similar to our scan algorithm here also the read write head will be keep on moving in a single direction okay so read write head will be moving on will be moving on single direction single direction okay that is a forward usually it is a forward direction okay usually towards the forward direction so whenever it reaches the maximum track number then it will again come back to the zero directly okay it will come back to the lower tra track number directly and again it will start processing the request in a single direction itself so during the backward it doesn't process any request so that is the difference among c scan and a scan one okay scan algorithm so so the read, read write head once reached to maximum track maximum track number then it directly move towards lowest track number track number particularly it is zero okay and during move towards track zero it doesn't process the request any request process any request any request okay so for example let us take these are the different tracks so whenever the read write head reaches to 199 in this example okay maximum immediately it will directly moves towards the zero okay during this particular direction so that means the backward direction so whenever the pro the read write head moves from track 199 to track 0 it doesn't process any kind of request okay only once it reaches to 0 then only it will again start uh, moving forward by uh, processing all the requests so let us see an example so the first request here it is 100 so the initially the position is at 100 then what is the next one so it will move only towards the forward direction so 100 means only it will process the request which are above 100 until it reaches to 199 so the next request process is 150 so the next request process is 150 okay and the next request process is 160 only forward okay 160 and the next request process is 184 184 r4 184 it processed at 184 now whenever it reaches to 199 so whenever it reaches to 199 again immediately it moves from zero okay it will just start with zero from zero again it will start processing the request so now it is at zero so i'll write here okay so i'll write here so that you can understand see it it starts with 100 the next request process is 150 the next request it is processed is 160 next request it process is 184 and next it it just moves with the 199 so 199 is not a request but it reaches the maximum one so immediately what happens means it will directly comes towards zero zero is not any request so directly it comes to zero 
the read write head directly moves towards zero so during this movement it doesn't process any request from here it will start processing the request from zero what is the next one 18 okay so here the next request r5 is at 18 18 from 18 it moves to 38 18 it moves to 38 from 38 it moves to 39 so which is almost equal and from 39 it moves to 58 58 so which is almost here from 58 it moves to sorry 55 55 so this is not around here and the next one is 58 so the next one is a 58 which is slight upward and then it is a 90 then r10 is at 90 this one so it will start towards forward direction whenever it reaches again directly it moves to zero and again it process the requests request okay so in scan algorithm what happens whenever it is it reaches to maximum track number it will start processing the requests which are backwards i mean while returning to zero whatever the process whatever the requests are there all those requests will be processed but here directly the read write head will be moving from the higher maximum track to the minimum track without processing any request so that's why we call it as a scan c scan algorithm c scan means a circular scan algorithm so which is called as a circular scan algorithm right so this is the process 100 to 150 150 to 160 160 to 184 184 to 190 which is a maximum track immediately the read write head comes to the initial track that means a zero so from zero again it start processing the request okay so that is the only difference between the scan and c scan algorithm so now we can calculate the seek time we can calculate the seek time see 100 what is the next one 100 to 150 so which is a 50 and 150 to 160 which is 10 160 to the next one is 184 which is a 24 and 184 to 199 and again 199 to 0 directly 0 so 184 to 199 199 to 0 then 0 to what is the next one 18 so you can directly go with the 18 and from 18 to 38 so which is a 20 and uh, 38 to 39 which is 1 39 to 55 which is around 16 55 to 58 so which is 3 and 58 to 90 which is around 32 okay it stops here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 yes so here you can see what is the seek time seek time 50 plus 10 plus 24 plus 18 plus 20 plus 1 plus 16 plus 3 plus 32 so sometimes you can also calculate this this particular thing which is around 15 and uh, which is around again 199 199 so so you can uh, i am skipping this one so directly i am calculating the only the moments of from one one request to another request so 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 6 11 12 20 24 so which is 4 2 uh, 2 plus 3 5 6 8 9 10 11 12 and uh, sorry 2 5 11 12 20 24 4 2 2 plus 3 5 6 8 9 10 12 and 
17 so it is a 174 so if you add this this also then all automatically the seek time will be more so here also there will be reordering reordering will be there and seek time so low seek time low seek time compared to fcfs compared to fcfs and also there might there might be very low chance of having the starvation so starvation possibility is also very low so this is a c scan algorithm which is a circular scan circular scan algorithm right so hope you understood this one and uh, let us stop here and if you are having any queries regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much